reefs are integral to the well-being of the ocean. They provide habitats for a large variety of organisms that rely on them as a source of shelter and food. Also, communities such as fishermen have understood that the destruction of corals leads to decrease of fauna such as fish. Human beings are the primary threats for coral destruction, but here in Jamaica they're also the primary solution. In response to the declining state of the coral reefs in Jamaica, coral gardening has been adopted as an effective way to restore the damaged reef. Rat and Gore are two coral gardeners taking care of this marine garden. We, we plant coral so we can sustain the ecosystem. The coral gardening is um, preparing corals for the future, you know. But I am very proud of what I'm doing right now, putting into coral gardening. Mm -hmm. You have the first step where you, you get any bits and pieces of different species. You put them in the nursery. Put them in the nursery, hang them in the nursery. After a few weeks, they start growing. We have one that we call the hybrid. We have one that's called Elkhorn. And we have one that they call Surficornis. So you, have, you have to set up the nursery where you have good current, where the water clean easily. Because if that, if that area have a lot of fungus, it just kill the coral. You have to have it in the nursery in a very calm area, very not too deep, not too shallow. Even though those corals will have the appropriate conditions to grow, a regular maintenance of the nursery is necessary. The building that I pulled off the strings, there, those are um, fungus, those are algae, very serious guys, those kill the coral in between no time. Yeah. After a few months in the nursery, cloned polyps bud off from the coral fragments. These will be outplanted on the reef by breaking them off so that the donal coral remains in the nursery. Once outplanted, the maintenance of the garden remains crucial since the process can be successful only with an effective management and removal of threats that cause destruction. Yeah, the maintenance is very crucial. They have to search for the fireworms. Yeah, you know, these are very serious predator. You know, you can destroy a coral just by just crawling on it. Then you have the snails. You know, with that you have to get rid of. They, they, in these guys will live on the, the coral, and they, they, their shells are so camouflaged that you will you will overlook them, not even knowing that in, that is one of them guys. Yeah, those are the dead pieces, those white pieces. That is where the fireworm, you know, cover. So, so you have to snip it up to let the color cure about that area and cover it. So you have to keep maintaining them, like a vegetable garden. After two years of gardening and despite the damage of the hurricane, local marine life has been able to recover. There's big improvements. We see we're you know, we got in, getting back a lot of juvenile fishes in, in staying back in the area. As the fish are coming back, you see a lot of fish leaning and picking. It's fun. But why does the presence of coral have such an impact on the marine life? In the presence of coral, baby fish will come in from the plankton and they'll get into the coral and inside that coral thicket, they'll be safe. And they'll grow and they'll come up and eventually go off and do big fish stuff. In the absence of that coral, if that coral was dead or gone or broken, and it's supposed to be there, the second that little fish comes into the area, a large fish will eat him. So in the absence of that fish, as the slightly bigger fish, the snails and the, the, snails and the worms that eat the coral become prolific, and they eat all of the coral. So those two things are working together. You need to have the fish in order to have the coral, but you also need to have the coral in order to have the fish. My life is fishing in, and I see suddenly we are, we are, we are losing it. And when, when I start planting over a period of time, I start seeing more fish. You know, that's a good thing. My grandson gonna know species of fish. <laughs>